What if you could create up to 10 minute faceless YouTube video without touching a timeline, without hiring an editor, just type in one prompt and a full video comes out on the other side with the script, visuals, music and voiceover already done for you. The challenge I see every day is that most creators are still doing this the hard way. They write the script in one tool, generate footage in another, and those clips are usually only 10 seconds long. So you have to generate a lot of footage, record voice in a separate tool, then drag everything into an editor and hope it all syncs up. By the time the video is finished, they've spent hours piecing things together for a channel that's supposed to be faceless and automated. I totally understand if your workflow requires that. But in this video, I'm going to show you a different workflow. I'll walk you through how I use one AI video tool to go from a single prompt to a full faceless video with almost no traditional editing and will save you time. The AI video tool I'll be using to show you this workflow is NVIDIA AI. I've covered NVIDIA AI on this channel before, but since the last time we looked at it, a lot has changed. Once you sign into your NVIDIA account, if you are using an account for the first time, this would be blank. This is some projects that I've generated before, and at the very top, you will see create AI video that's you could start from scratch and you could also see agents and models. We'll be looking at this one after the other, starting with create AI video. Once you click on create AI video, it gives you this page. At the very top, you see all the models that exist within the NVIDIA platform. I suggest to use 4.0. And here you could type in what your topic is, is or what you want to create. At the bottom here, you could create your AI avatar. That's if you are showing your face and you want to create your AI twin, you could do that here. But since you're creating a faceless video, I wouldn't be choosing that. Now here you see a couple of options. You could actually use your own script if you have a script or you could put your own prompt and then the couple of workflows. Once you click on workflows, you'll be able to choose a specific workflow that is aligned with the project that you are working on. But for this tutorial, I will be pasting in a prompt that I generated with ChatGPT. I generated a prompt and asked ChatGPT to give me a three minute story of a particular girl known as Zina and her finding her own light. And ChatGPT went ahead to give me this prompt, which I'm going to use. You don't have to have very detailed prompt like this. You could just have specifics and then in video would do the rest, but I wanted the prompt to be well detailed. Just go ahead and copy the prompt once you have it generated and then we'll go back to this and then go ahead and paste it. Now, because we have given instruction at the very top that I want to create a three minutes video, in video AI knows to create that specific amount of minutes, click on generate my video and it will start processing. Once it's done analyzing, it will open up a new page, which we would select couple of settings before we move ahead. Okay. As you could see, the duration has automatically been added at the very top, and then you go ahead and choose a platform. Obviously, this is a YouTube video. This has been selected automatically as well. For the media, you could choose between Basic, Pro, and Ultra. Basic uses the generative models within NVIDIA AI, while the Pro uses VO 3.1 Fast, as well as Sora and similar models. While the Ultra uses specifically VO 3.1 and Sora 2, because I want to use these flagship models, which could give me the best of qualities, I will just select this and then you go ahead and click on generate and the video would start generating. It takes a couple of minutes, depending on the number of minutes that you are generating. Of course, in video can generate up to a maximum of 10 minutes video. Once it's done generating, it would appear here and then you have the ability to select between 720p and 1080p. I like to use 1080p. Let's just go ahead, play this so you could see the result without any form of editing at all. The sun rises over a warm, dusty town. Zena watches from a rooftop 
as other children shine. Amara dances like wind. Kwame bends the football through the air. Asha paints bright murals. Zena tries to copy them, stumbling through the dance, missing the ball, holding a brush that feels wrong. Each attempt leaves her shoulders lower, her eyes sad. What's wrong with me? She wonders. Everyone else is special. What do I have? The question hangs as sunlight fills the streets, and Zena sits, searching for something she can't name. That evening, Zena sits with her grandmother under a sky of stars. Everyone carries a light inside, her grandmother says. Look closely at your own heart. The next day, Zena walks the market, vendors calling, children laughing. She helps an elder gather spilled fruit and feels a warm smile. By the riverside, she finds a stub of charcoal and a battered notebook. On impulse, she sketches the vendor's hands, the children's laughter in quick lines, the baobab silhouette at sunset. With each mark, her expression softens, curiosity replacing doubt. She begins to tell the small stories in her head. At a community gathering, Zena clutches her notebook, knees shaking. She remembers her grandmother, breathes and steps forward. She shows a few drawings and tells tiny stories. Mama Kessie at her stall, kids turning streets into games, the old baobab holding secrets. As she speaks, Gentle, glowing sketches unfold behind her, echoing her words. The crowd quiets, then smiles. Children lean closer. Zena feels something settle, warm and bright inside her chest. She didn't find her light by copying others. She found it in the stories only she could tell. Based on the video that we just played, as you could see, that everything turned out really well. The character, Zina, is consistent for every single scene, which is incredible. Obviously, there are a couple of little changes you could make based off of how the video turned out, which I will show you how to do. Now that we have the video generated, to make edits, there are a couple of ways to do that. You could make edits using text prompts as well as manual edits. Click on edit and download and here you could type, for example, that you want to change the background music to something cinematic, then click on enter and it would go ahead to change the background music of the entire video. You can see here that this has successfully changed the background music and it sounds more epic and cinematic. Another way that you could make edits to your videos is once you click on edit, here you could see three options, media, music, script, and settings. Let's click on media. It is going to show you each of the scenes that were generated, and then you could click on it and make changes. Example, if I want to change the scene that is six seconds, you could click on it and then you could upload your own media to replace this image. You could use a stock media, which you wouldn't use in this scenario, or you could use generative media. When we click on generative media, it gives you all the clips that were generated within the video. Now, if you want to generate a new media to replace this, you just click here that says generate new media. You go ahead and describe what you want that image to look like. Note that the system has a way to maintain the consistency of the character that you have generated already. Once you put that description here, you select how many seconds. In this scenario, it's six seconds, and then you click on generate clip. Once it's done generating, you could click on replace and it replaces that media 
and then you could go ahead and apply. But before we leave the replaced media, let me download this and I'll be showing you something in the advanced settings when we look at agents and models. We'll go back to media and then music. Also, you could go ahead and change the music for each of the chapters. As you can see, this is an epic battle music because at, at the beginning, we use the text prompt to change the music, right? And then here as well, you could go ahead and look at the scripts and then the narrator, and you could look at all the generative media. Once you have all the settings done, you just go ahead and click on save changes and all the changes you have made so far will be implemented in the video. The next thing is to download it to your computer. Click here that says download and then you could select no watermark, none, and then you could choose 1080p. For you not to have a watermark, you would need to have a paid plan. I will talk about the plan shortly. And then remove the NVIDIA AI branding and then you click on continue and the video will be downloaded to your computer. Now to quickly talk about the pricing and how to remove the watermark. At the top here, when you click on generative plan or the plan that you have, it has plus all the way to teams and monthly and yearly. Now for you to be able to use a generative plan, this is the plan that gives you the ability to generate all these videos and it's $120 per month. That's the plan I'm currently using. That gives you access to over 200 video minutes as well as PC ads and about 300 seconds of generative video and all other features that you could see here. Now that I've showed you how to generate video from scratch, let's go back to the home page and let's look at this new functionality that I've never covered on this channel before, which is agents and models. Once you click on it, you would see this area that says generative models. This houses all, all the top-notch video and image models out there. You could see Kling 2.6 that was just launched like a week or two weeks ago. And then you would see Kling Video 01 and some other video models that are very popular. The same thing with images. You will see Nano Banana Pro Sea Dream 4.5 Flux 2 Pro that just came out like a week ago as well and so many other image generators you could use to generate your image directly as well as you could have audio. You have Minimax here as well as 11 Labs. Now, you only use this, for example, if the video you created, you wanted to make some specific changes, you could do that as well without altering the look and the feel of the video. Now, I'll be using the new Clean Video 01 to show us how you could edit your video. Once you click on it, it'll give you the ability to create a new project. I'll just click on the project I created before. It opens up to this particular page. Once you click on the video, you'll be able to upload that video that we downloaded that we want to make some changes to. Once you upload the video, make sure you choose the duration. Obviously, it has to be the same duration as the reference video. Then you go ahead and type in your prompt here. I'm going to be using a prompt that says, remove the huts at the background of the image and then add more trees. And also I want it to be raining. And then here that is say trends to add any form of VFX. But because we don't want to use any VFX here, we're not going to use that. And then you could choose how many images you want to generate, two to four, we can choose two. And then obviously we are going to be using, once you click on video zero one, make sure you're using video reference. Go ahead and click on generate. What we're trying to do is to change the background of the video. Let's take a look at the one that I generated earlier. This is really cool. Compared to the original video where there was a hut behind her and people walking around, we're able to change that heart to trees and it's raining heavily. As you can see, this turned out really well. This is another one where I only changed the background to trees. I didn't make it raining and this is how it turned out. You can use Clean Video 01 to make changes to your scenes and then you could download it from here. It doesn't alter any other thing. It only changes what you have in your prompt. You could download this and then go back to your video 
edit and then replace, depending on what you want to do. That's essentially how you could use the AI agent and models. If you are creating a video that requires a specific image, you have all the models here available for you that you could use to generate that image or the video or the audio, place it in your main video. Essentially, that is how the new NVIDIA AI platform works that allows you to generate your videos with little to no stress. So now you've seen how to go from one prompt to a full faceless YouTube video in minutes without living inside an editing timeline. If you want to try NVIDIA AI for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description so you can test this workflow on your own ideas. If you found this helpful, click the link button so more creators can find it. Subscribe for more AI plus faceless YouTube tutorials and then watch the next video on your screen where I break down faceless YouTube niches. You should consider for 2026 and I will see you there.